What's up guys, so today is the day uh, we're going getting the Datsun back. Uh, it's been at the blasters for about maybe three or four weeks now. Um, it took him a long time and it's not looking good. Uh, if you've seen our Facebook post or Instagram, uh, it's potentially two cars welded together really bad. So Liam's not here today, he's gone back to work, probably a good job because if I blasted my Harrick 7, found out it was two cars, uh, seeing it in person might be a little bit much. So Dylan's on his way on the flatbed. Uh, we're going to go and collect it. It's like a four hour drive uh, round trip. So uh, I'll leave you guys here. I'll save you the long journey. And I'll see you when we get back. Okay, so we're back uh, after a six hour round trip in the van. Uh, a Nando's and six pack of Dunkin Donuts uh, on the company credit card loom. Uh, if you like cars or Datsuns in particular or even if you have any pride in work you do and uh, you might want to sit down before I show you this because it's pretty rough but uh, let's take a look. Alright so let's start on this quarter or at the back even. So I'll see it said a rear quarter on at some point uh, and a little patch panel put in there pretty roughly done this one's took a bit of a beating and then up here we've got a bit of a crack going on you've got some rust on the rear boot panel and then again on this side we'll go around this way this way it gets a bit tasty so it's had another rear quarter on obviously pretty rough and for whatever reason the angle of this panel does not meet this it's probably been laid over the top rather than butt welded on um, that goes all the way down and then on this sill so weld goes along there follows all the way up the floor on the tunnel goes all the way along the tunnel and then it starts doing some sort of crazy pattern all the way up the tunnel, up the firewall. And then it goes along the scuttle panel. And then, if the camera will focus properly, goes down the firewall there. So, essentially, the car has had a full front end of front quarter and this floor section from another car cut and shot onto it if you would and obviously it's been joined here at the bottom of the roof so yeah that is not ideal we knew it was rough when we got it but not this rough obviously in there it's the floor technically or the firewall um that's getting replaced anyway so no no dramas there Go around this way. It's had some accident damage. So we've got a crease in the leg there and some creasing up the inner wing. And then obviously a load of rust on that side. This side, not too bad. Inner wings, fairly solid in there. Then you come along this side, a bit of craziness going on there. And then Obviously this floor, it's seen better days, but well, he was having floors anyway, so that's not too bad. Sill, got some rust in it, so I need a new sill there. And then this quarter as well, which we weren't really expecting, is been battered, so that must have had a fair bit of filler on it. Uh, roof, bit of a dinghy, a dent there and one at the back but that can probably be saved anyway so that's what we're working with so it's definitely a lot worse than we were expecting probably the worst thing that can happen when you take a car to sandblasting is it comes back and you find out it's a cut and shut but you know uh, liam's got to find out you know what he can get hold of now if it's worth saving his shell does he find another shell you know, we could go sort of resto mod on it, 
you know, do a tube chassis front end. Uh, do we do fiberglass rear quarters? There's loads of options. So uh, let us know in the comments if this was your car, what would you do? And yeah, we'll see you on the next video when Liam has decided what he's going to do with it. But thanks again for watching. Uh, hit that like button. I'll see you next time.